In this demo video, we will show you some of the important features of our ATF fingerprint software. Let's say you have a client who needs to be fingerprinted. You would click on the new button and it will take you to the demographic screen. You can either scan their driver's license and the data from their driver's license will be populated automatically within our software. This saves time and avoids errors during data entry. Or you can manually enter their information. We have used dropdowns and error checks to avoid user-related errors. For example, if the place of birth is Florida, you can start typing the name of the state and it shows up there. Also, if instead of 200 pounds, someone enters 2,000 pounds, our software will notify the user of this error. Once you have entered their demographic information, the next step is to mark any fingers that might be missing or unavailable. You can click on amputated and click on the finger that is missing to select it. This will tell our software that this finger is missing and our software will put in the right code for the missing finger for the agency. Next, we can easily capture someone's fingerprints. The software tells the user at different places which finger needs to be placed on the fingerprint reader. Here, the software is asking the user to put their right four fingers on the scanner, and we have marked those in gray. Please note, throughout this demo, we have blurred out parts of the fingerprints to protect the privacy of the user. Hence, you will see gray boxes covering parts of the fingerprints. Once the user puts their fingers on the scanner, our software does fingerprint quality check, and if the finger is poor quality, it will notify the user. You can either accept the poor print or recapture the fingerprint again. In this instance, we will recapture the fingerprint. This time, the fingerprints were of good quality and were registered, and we move on to capturing the left four. Also, if the user puts the wrong hand, in this instance, they put their right hand instead of the left hand, the software can catch that. We have taken care of lots of such aspects for the user, in order to ensure that the prints are not rejected. Once the right four flat and the left four flat fingerprints are captured, the user is asked to place their right thumb flat and then left thumb flat on the fingerprint scanner. Once all 10 flat fingerprints are captured, the user is walked through the sequence of rolling each finger. Let's speed up the video while the user rolls all their fingers. Once all 10 prints are captured, you can capture a person's photograph. You can use an existing webcam to do that. You can save and export the photo if you like. Next, you can capture their signature. The person fingerprinted and the official taking the fingerprints can sign here. You can review the info to make sure everything is correctly entered. On this screen, you can recapture a print that you do not like if needed. Clicking on print, prints the record on FBI cards. Now, let's create the EFT file needed for the ATF. You can click on close to go back to the main screen. Click on the record and then click on export EFT. You can name the file whatever you like and save it wherever you like. If you have recurring clients, you can access and edit their records if needed. All the data is owned by you and saved on your computer. Here we added the person's middle name to the record. You can create the EFT file again if needed. Thank you for watching this demo and please reach out to us if you have any questions regarding our products.